Welcome back everybody to the channel. Um, so today we're doing something a little interesting here. Uh, we're going to try to transfer the internals over from an ROG G20 AJ to a full desktop. Um, and it's a pretty cool little machine. It's The G20 series is really, really awesome. It looks amazing it lo and, and stuff. But the, the, it has one issue. Uh, it overheats because there's nowhere, like, the, the heat vents go up here and then the only internals are here. Um, but another thing that that, that that we have an issue with is it's very proprietary. So the motherboard is like a laptop motherboard and it has laptop RAM and it has heat sink is like proprietary. The, uh, the power supply is proprietary. Everything's proprietary to it. The only thing that we can possibly do is take the processor out of here and put it onto a regular motherboard like a regular motherboard it's 1150 mo um, motherboard and then find ram find a power supply find a case and that's gonna work so here's the thing we have to find a motherboard that's gonna fit this and the, uh, an 1150 motherboard uh, we're gonna let's let's look up this new egg new egg dot com it's $58 not bad $98 not bad but I'm gonna try to stay away from these crappy motherboards, okay? So instead of the 1150 motherboard, we're gonna go for a Z97. Uh, $225, $147, hundred sixty one. So it's actually pretty pricey uh, at, for these kind of boards right now. Um, and the reason why I wanna kind of go with a Z970 is because I don't want, uh, this machine is actually my, my, my younger brother's, I don't want him to end up with a crappy motherboard uh, and then he's going to hate it because the board that's in the actual machine right now is not too terrible. I, I know it's proprietary but it's not too terrible. Ooh. Z97 motherboard. Z97, Z97 X SLI motherboard, brand new, never used. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's see what that costs. Forty bucks. It's only forty dollars here. All right, so let's see what uh, what that costs on Newegg. Holy crap! No freaking way, dude. This is the same board. So I'm going to contact this person um, because 40 bucks is not bad for this board. I mean, obviously it's pretty much you're giving it to me. All right, so I've actually been um, chatting with this person and they're only about 29 minutes away from me. So I'm not gonna record them because I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, but I will be back once I get my hands on that board, if I get my hands on the board, if I'm not dead, and we'll go from there. All right, so I made it back home. I have it. She was super cool with everything. She actually didn't know what she uh, had apparently. It was like sent to her on accident and then like UPS or some, or they, they wouldn't take it back or they weren't able to send it back. So she ended up selling it to me. All right, so here we are. This is actually the machine that uh, I was talking about, the ROG G20AJ by Asus. Um, so as you can tell, it is actually very, very small. Uh, it's about the size of an Xbox One. Um, and the ventilation on it is actually pretty bad. Uh, it, you have like one slit here where the air goes in and then it all comes out of here. Now that kind of gets circulated with the processor heat and the GPU's heat. Now I did try to uh, fix this uh, issue by drilling holes, believe it or not. I drilled holes on the side of the of the case here so air would go directly into the uh, GPU and into the power supply, uh, not the power supply, the CPU. But um, 
that being said, it still wasn't enough. So we're gonna try to get a build going onto this monster here, this giant ATX case. And, and hopefully we're gonna be able to fit the um, uh, dual fan RX580 in there instead of the RX580 that's in here, which is a blower style. I'm also going to throw in a Cooler Master um, liquid cooler because why not? And of course this doesn't fit in here, I don't know where to put this, but it will fit in this case. Um, so the first thing that we have to do is take this apart and get the processor out of it uh, because we have to put it onto the new board. That smooth. <laughs> I can't even get this cover on. Um, I think it goes in like these. And I think then you push it though, you push it in. And then it goes in like that. Nice! System is fully functional now. No, really it's not functional because it doesn't have a processor. But we're gonna put this out of the way and we can now get started on the other build. The actual big build. The build that matters. The build that hopefully we can see this uh, board working because, like I said, it's not tested. It's supposed to be brand new, but it's not tested.
moment of truth. We're gonna see if this actually posts. I uh, already got the uh, stuff hooked up that needs to be hooked up just to at least test this. Turn on the um, power there. And no lights on the board. Well, let's try this. Ooh. Oh, did it post? Did it post? Did it post? No bootable device detected. Yes, it worked. It worked. The motherboard's good. The motherboard is good. You can buy UFI, dual BIOS, blah, blah, blah. This will enter a BIOS setup. Okay, cool. This is awesome. This is awesome. Welcome. Bienvenido. Uh, the, we need it in English. Choose the, sy the system default language. System language. Um, Fast boot? I, I don't know. Actually, I'm not very familiar with with this. I'm not very familiar with this uh, motherboard BIOS. I don't use a lot of gigabyte stuff, but it worked. We're good. The motherboard's good. 40 bucks, well spent. And I'm going to go ahead and finish with the install of the operating system and everything. And I'll go ahead and do the cable management. And hopefully, we can come back and see this thing working flawlessly. So. everybody that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoy that late night pc building thing that we did last night um it turned out great it's running way better than it was on the uh on the other machine it's no longer hitting 90 degree temperatures from the processor which i should have probably done tests but hey live and learn i this is my first long thingy of this thingy of the stuff so uh it's it's amazing it's, it's running really good i'm gonna do a couple more benchmarks and everything but uh, it should be good to go and thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. And enjoy your time, enjoy your family, enjoy your friends, and have a good life. Yeah.